Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to simplify and evaluate this given expression 10 power 8 plus 11 power 4 plus 111 power 4 all over 2 and then whole power 1 over 2 and just make sure that we are not supposed to be using calculators of any kind. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus on uh, this part uh, in the numerator. And here I have copied it down and let's go ahead and manipulate this one. Let's focus on this uh, 10 power 8 first. And here I have copied down 10 power 8. Let's go ahead and tweak it. And now its exponent 8 could be written as uh, 2 times 4. And now let's recall this power rule according to this rule. This could be written as 10 power 2 and then whole power 4. And now we know that 10 power 2 over here could be written as 100 and then whole power 4. And here 10 power 8 could be written as 100 power Four, as you can see in this next step and now to keep our job easier let's go ahead and make a substitution let me go ahead and call this 100 as our a and this uh, 11 as b and moreover we can write this 111 as 100 plus 11 whole power 4 so therefore our this whole expression could be written as a power 4 plus b power 4 plus a plus b whole power 4. And now let's recall Pascal's triangle as you can see over here. And as you can observe that all ones are on this side and all ones on this side as well and they keep going on and on and on and this uh, triangle is generated by adding uh, these two numbers and uh, just put the numbers when we add them 3 plus 3 becomes 6 uh, at the bottom in between them guys let me give you one more example if i get this 10 and 5 add them up we're gonna get 15 and write it just underneath them and moreover second row corresponds to power 1 and this third row corresponds to power 2 and goes on and on and now let's focus on this part uh, a plus b whole power 4 and here i have copied it down and we are going to use this pascal's triangle to expand this binomial a plus b whole power 4 and since we are dealing with power 4 so therefore we are going to pick this row 1 4 6 4 1 let me go ahead and copy down those numbers 1 4 6 4 and 1 over here and this is the way we can expand this thing let me go ahead and start off with the a power 4 let's as we go along we're going to reduce power by 1 so this is going to become a power 3 this is going to become a power 2 and here a power 1 and here a disappears and now let's start from the right hand side this time we're going to focus on b whole power 4 as we go along on this side we're going to reduce power by 1 so this is going to become b power 3 b power 2 b power 1 and here b disappears we are going to put uh, the signs plus signs in between them to separate now let me go ahead and rearrange uh, these uh, terms i can write uh, a power 4 first uh, and then I'm going to write this uh, plus b power 4. Then I'm going to write down plus uh, 6a square b square. Then I'm going to write down plus uh, 4a power 3b. 
plus finally this one plus 4 a b power 3 so therefore our this expression could be written as first let me go ahead and copy down these terms a power 4 plus b power 4 and then plus uh, i am going to write down all these terms for this a plus b whole power 4 let me go ahead and write down a power 4 plus b power 4 plus 6 a square b square plus 4 a power 3 b plus 4 a b power 3 and now let's go ahead and combine these like terms a power 4 plus a power 4 and then b power 4 plus b power 4 as you can see in this uh, next step and now we can see that uh, 2 is in common uh, across uh, the board so therefore we are going to go ahead and uh, factor this one out so we got uh, 2 outside a power 4 plus b power 4 this is going to become 3a square b square plus 2a power 3 b plus 2a b power 3 now let's go ahead and focus on this 3a square b square we can tweak this thing this could be written as 2a square b square plus 1 a square b square as you can see in this uh, next step and now let's recall this famous identity x plus y whole square could be written as x square plus y square plus 2 times uh, xy we are going to apply over here on this part so this could be written as uh, a square plus b square and then a whole square so therefore we can write this whole thing two times in the bracket this could be written as a square plus b square and then whole square then we are going to write down all these terms plus now let's focus on these two terms we can see we have a two a b in common so therefore this whole thing could be written as 2 times this is a square plus b square whole square plus I can write this one as a b whole square plus here I'm going to factor out 2 times a b outside then we ended up with a square plus b square and now let's recall this identity once again x plus y whole square if i call this part as x and this part as y then this whole thing could be written as 2 times a square plus b square plus a b whole square now we can see this whole numerator part has been simplified to this one where our a equals to 100 and b equals to 11 therefore i can write this expression as 2 times a square plus b square plus a b whole power 2 divided by 2 and then whole power 1 over 2 and now we can see this 2 and 2 is gone so we ended up with a square plus b square plus a b whole square and then power 1 over 2 and we can see this 2 and 1 over 2 they cancel each other out so therefore we are ended up with a square plus b square plus a b now we can see that our a value is 100 and b value is 11 and here in this next step i have replaced a by 100 and b by 11 
And now we know that uh, 100 square is same as 10,000, 11 square is same as 121, and this is going to give us uh, 1100. And if we add these numbers, that's going to give us uh, 11,221. And here's our simplified answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.